Hi, I'm Evelyn from Central Tablelands Local Land Services and the project that I work on is called Searching for the Small Purple Pea. And we're just looking for as many people as we can find to help us in the search for this little endangered plant. And here is a little example of the small purple pea. It's definitely purple and it's also fairly small. It gets to about 30 centimetres tall when it's flowering. The really characteristic features of this plant are the leaves. You can see how it has these separate leaflets along the one leaf. And those leaflets are quite thin and narrow and they have hardly got any hair on them. So they're quite smooth. The other thing that tells me that this is a small purple pea is that the flowers all occur on this nice long stem going up with the oldest flowers down the bottom and then the youngest flowers up the top. Here you can see a little seed pot. These are only tiny, but there's a sort of teardrop shape and they get quite big when they mature. So you might see the buds, the flowers, and the seed pot on the same plant. So here we have a very similar little sm small purple pea, but this one is actually called the silky purple pea. And the reason it's called the silky purple pea is on the leaves, it's got quite a lot of hairs. The leaves are quite a bit broader. And when you look at it in the light, it almost looks silky. Also, the flowers a similar purple, but they're all around the same kind of area on a much shorter stem. So this is a beautiful little twining glycine. So the first big difference between the twining glycine and the small purple pea is that it's actually a little climber that climbs up on things and has only three leaflets on the leaf. So you can see here that the leaves are much shorter. They are also quite skinny and almost hairless, but they only ever have three leaflets, while the small purple pea usually has at least seven. So if you do find a purple pea on your travels along the side of the road or even in your back paddock somewhere, do take some photos for us. Take some photos of the leaves, ideally with the leaves on your hand so that I can get a good look at it. A photo of the flowers. If there's any buds or seed pots, take a photo of that too. And a photo of the whole plant and where it grows. And then send them through to us at LLS and we'll do the very best to help you identify and see whether you might have found a new population of the small purple pea. We know they're out there and we're looking for your help to find them.